Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Brianna and I'm a fourth year medical student at a DO school. So hey, hello, it's been a minute. Some of you might even say it's been a few months, which it has been, sorry about that. Really there's no excuse, I just, she just took the squeaky ball out of my lap. And that's why I had it in my lap because where was I? So yeah, I know I stopped vlogging for a little while there. I don't have an excuse. I just got burnt out from vlogging. I didn't feel passionate about it anymore. I didn't find it fun anymore. So I just stopped. Nala, you need to stop. Nala, please. No, please. Okay, this video is already a disaster. I'm clearly off my YouTube game considering I haven't, uh, you know, recorded myself in like six months. I also have Blue here. You can't see him, but he's right here. He's tugging with me. So I'm sorry, this video is already a mess. Now I'm back. I thought about just not posting ever again. And I realized that could have been kind of mean, but also I was like, Brianna, you're literally a no one. So trust me, no one's gonna be offended. But then some of you were actually leaving comments on my old videos saying, hey, I hope you're doing well. I miss you. I miss your videos. Hope to see you post soon. Can you not? Uh, can't wait for your next video. So, you know, what better video to come back with than to tell you guys how I prepared for step two and level two and then reveal my scores to you. Cause I know you're all nosy. You're all nosy. You all want to know how I did. And you know what? That's fine because I'm nosy too. And I would also want to know. Nala, can you guys like, <sighs> Nala, you can't have this ball. I don't know what to tell you. It's just too loud. You can have it after. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna start out by telling you guys the resources that I used for step two and level two. UWorld, Amboss, TrueLearn. That was it, that was literally it. I used those three, three QBanks and then Amboss additionally had like all of the information you would ever need to know. Those were the three resources I used. I think I still scored well enough and felt prepared well enough for the exams that I wouldn't say you need any more than three or four resources. So that's what I'm gonna stick to. Last year when I took step one and level one, you guys know that I was in a panic during those last few weeks of dedicated because I had not been doing practice questions every day. I felt unprepared. I was taking a practice exam like every other day during my two weeks of dedicated and it was a disaster. I was failing practice exams up until like two days before I was taking the USMLE and then I took the exam. I thought I might have failed and it was awful. I ended up passing both, but I did not prepare well and that definitely taught me a huge lesson. So during my third year of medical school, prior to taking step two and level two, I prepared by doing 200 practice questions every single week. Nala knows this toy is back here. And I would do the questions that were associated with whatever rotation I was on. So if I was on my OBGYN rotation, I would do the OBGYN questions. And if I was on my psych rotation, I would do my psych questions and so forth. That allowed me to finish all of the AMBOSS questions, the UWorld questions, and a lot of the True Learn questions. So that kept me like really on track, really disciplined. I was learning every day. I was testing myself every day. I was getting practice with timing myself and doing questions every day. So that was good. And I feel like that was really helpful. So my number one tip for preparing for step two and level two, do practice questions every single day, do a ton of them, just get used to it. Okay. It's not fun, but you have to do it. And then the more you do it, the better you get at it. So that's what I would recommend. I know you all want to know about my scores. Step two, I got a 234. On my level two, I got a 557. Am I happy about those scores? I don't really know. When I took my practice exams from the NBMEs, I was scoring 242, 242, 234. So when I went to take step two, I thought I was going to score like 235 to 242. And when I walked out of the exam, I was feeling good. I was like, that felt easier than the NBME practice exams. So I thought I was gonna score higher. So when, I'm so sorry, this is like so distracting, but Nala's literally right here. You see her snoot right there? I thought I was gonna do better, especially because when I walked out of the exam, I thought it felt easier than the practice exam. So I was like, okay, I feel like I probably scored in the mid 240s. Then when I got my score, I got a 234 and I was like, damn. Now I know a 234 isn't bad, but it's also not awesome. But considering I want to apply to an IM residency, I think my score is fine and hopefully it is fine. And you know, hopefully everything is fine and I'll never have to think about that score again. Now, when it came time for the complex, I took the two practice comp days. I got like a 520 and a 530. And I was like, okay, that's probably fine. Went, took my exam, I got a 557. And the average for this exam was a 550. So I was a little bit above average. So I think, that's fine. Again, for an IM residency, I think my scores were okay. Were they phenomenal? No. Am I gonna be matching into like radiology or surgery with those scores? Probably not, but that's not what I wanted anyway. And that's where I wanna kinda dive into why I structured my third year the way that I did. So since I knew that I wanted to do an IM residency, I knew that my scores on the boards didn't have to be that high. Now, does that mean I didn't try and I didn't wanna learn and I wasn't motivated to learn? No, I still tried, I still learned as much as I could, but 
I didn't learn as much as I could compared to if I had studied every single day of my third year, which is just not what I did because every single weekend I literally went to play volleyball and that's how I wanted to spend my time. If I wanted to match into a really competitive surgery and score like a 260 on uh, <laughs> a 260 on step two and like a 700 on the complex, then yeah, I probably would have had to dedicate a lot more of my weekends to studying. But I just didn't because that's not what I wanted. It wasn't one of my goals. And so I didn't feel like I had to push myself over the edge to that point. I hope you guys are understanding what I'm saying and you're not like, oh my God, that means Brianna didn't try and she doesn't really care. No, I tried, I cared. I just work smarter, not harder, right? That's what I was trying to do. I was just trying to work smarter. That just sounded like a disaster, didn't it? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I hope none of you are taking that the wrong way and thinking that I'm lazy and that I don't care because I do, I do care. Okay, so yeah, those are my scores. Step two, 234, Comlex, 557, the three resources I used, Amboss, TrueLearn, and UWorld. Those are like the only three, honestly, that I would recommend because all of third year in preparation for those exams, you're just taking practice questions. And I think those are the best three QBanks. TrueLearn especially is really good for those of you who are in DO programs and need to take the Comlex because like I've said in the past, TrueLearn writes questions most similarly to how they're written on the Comlex. And they're the only ones that provide like OMM questions that you don't have to pay extra money for. So yeah, I also have a link down in the bio. I'm like a TrueLearn partner, holla. So if you decide to buy TrueLearn, you can use the link in my bio to get a little discount. Speaking of link in my bio and discounts, y'all see this? Nala, just go, just go, please don't squeak it. Do you guys see this? Yeah, that's a cute necklace, right? And my jewelry, my jewelry, yeah. That's all Ana Luisa. You guys know I did a video with Ana Luisa in the past. I think it was honestly like the last video I posted. I posted about their jewelry. I was wearing this in that video and I was wearing this ring in that video. I was also wearing a bracelet in that video that I am not wearing now because I lost it. Um, there was a period of like a week or two straight where I was wearing that bracelet every single day and I accidentally wore it to one of my volleyball tournaments. So when I took it off, I thought I put it in my duffel bag, but when I got home, it was not in the duffel bag. So I must have just dropped it somewhere at the tournament. I'm sure someone saw it, thought it was cute, picked it up, and now they're just wearing it and using it to its fullest potential. So I'm not super sad about it, but I am a little bit bummed. I'm so sorry about the squeaking, but she's not gonna stop. She's not gonna stop. She just loves that ball, okay? Um, and then this necklace. You guys know that I usually wear the jade elephant necklace that my dad bought me. I wear that religiously like every single day, but I started getting like this weird eczema rash on my neck. So I stopped wearing that necklace because I wasn't sure if it was contributing. But then I noticed that when I was going on rotations, I just looked so bare. So then I started wearing this necklace and also I was afraid that this would bring the eczema back, but no eczema, I'm fine. So obviously this is not causing me to have like an allergic reaction or anything. And it's very cute and it makes me look a little more put together for rotations. So love this. And then this ring that I have, um, I probably wear this ring the most out of all of the jewelry pieces I have. I don't know what has gotten into me, but I'm a ring girly now and I love wearing rings. And let me just tell you, I don't really know how to take care of jewelry. I will go to sleep in this. I will shower in this. I will wash my hands in this. I will put lotion on my hands with this ring on and it's not tarnished. It's still shiny. It still looks really good and brand new to me. And if you guys decide to get jewelry from Ana Luisa, because it's affordable and it's cute and it's in style. If your jewelry does ever tarnish or get damaged, you can reach out to them because they have a two year warranty and they will just send you a new piece, no questions asked. So that's also something I love about them. So if at any point uh, my ring does tarnish because I'm doing a terrible job at taking care of them, then I might just reach out to them and be like, hey guys, uh, my ring, you know? And then these are some new pieces that I just got from them. This is a set of two rings. It is so freaking cute. I just love how they go together like besties and besties. And then this is another ring, very similar to the one I have on my middle finger, but instead of having that point, it's just plain, simple, simple. My camera's shaking because Nala's right here trying to get the ball out of me. And then you guys know how I feel about the color green. This isn't exactly a jade green, but I still think it's cute AF. So my cute jewelry, my cute necklace, my cute bracelet that I lost. So if any of you guys are interested in purchasing this jewelry for yourself, for your mom, for your sister, for your bestie, you can use the link in my bio. It'll get you a 20% off discount. And there's just no losing in this situation. So if you're interested in the jewelry, you can use the link in my bio. I don't really know what else there is to say, guys. Like, like I said, I've been off this vlogging game for a little while and Nala is just staring at me with her piercing eyes waiting for this ball right now. Nala, don't be shy. Do you guys see her? Do you guys see her staring at me right now? because I have the ball right here. She's just staring. <laughs> okay, 
Anyway, guys, I hope you guys find that video helpful. In summary, the three resources I use and I would recommend are UWorld, Amboss, and TrueLearn. TrueLearn, especially for the OMM questions. Do not skimp out on those OMM questions. They are so many points. Practice those questions. 234 on USMLE Step 2, 557 on Comlex Level 2. And if you're interested in purchasing any Ana Luisa jewelry, you can use the link down in my bio. You can use my discount code. Um, pop off, have fun, because this stuff is cute and affordable and the dogs are driving me insane right now. Okay. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video, whenever that is. Bye.